Greetings. Now, the fly I'm going to tie in this video, it's based on the similar pattern as the best bluegill fly ever, but I'm using brighter colors and uh, some of the Semper Fly straggle string for the body. It ought to be a great attractor. Um, I call on this fly SBD, Simple But Deadly Bluegill Fly. <laughs> It's a great attractor, um, and it'll, it'll, it'll work well. You work it slowly. Uh, you let it sink a little bit after you cast it, and then you just inch it in towards you, and they'll tear it up. So let's go tie the simple but deadly bluegill fly. Okay. We're going to tie this SBD. Bluegill fly. It stands for simple but deadly. It's a uh, tractor pattern. Very easy to tie. It's on a size 10 hook. Now for the tail, I'm going to use a piece of this Antron yarn. Red. Like that. About a body length long. And tie that right on top. Okay. Now the body's going to be made of two colors of this straggle string. Kind of glittery. Add some good attractor colors. I use that orange for ribbing and then this greenish for the main body. Okay. And just bring that green forward. Just touching wraps. Leave it shy of that bead head just a little bit. Okay. We bring the orange forward. Kind of like ribbing. Okay. Pull up a little bit of a base. Now we're going to use some neck feather hackles. 
I'm going to use white and black. Give it kind of a salt and pepper look to it. Okay. Bring our white hat first. And we bring our black forward. Kind of weave it so you don't trap hackles. Pull them back. Tie them back like that. Okay. Next, I'm going to take some of this orange dubbing. that around there for the thorax and we whip finish I'm using 140 thread pretty strong okay next I'll take some UV. This is the thinner UV. Coat that dubbing. hold it in place real well. Put a fair amount on it. Okay. We'll cook that down. Fix 
to get my light to work. There we go. That's about got it. Okay, here we have it. Simple but deadly bluegill fly. Thanks for watching.